us and we came across a combination of things uh, and we had uh, concentrate on the uh, ne pa which auxiliary past verb uh, equivalent to uh, was and where now we had examples of uh, PLU ne af ii p now uh, af ii as you know is a simple past uh, he grows sorry in the past he grew or grew, grew up ne p this is for the imperfect past so we get a combination of ne p the auxiliary past verb ne p for going on uh, like uh, was sleeping or was eating or here was growing but we have gotten the same time of ii which he grew so this is simple past then as you said sandow should or we'll put it or wrap ne pa with it as well uh, one of the uh, coptic authors uh, sama hunan Uh, translated or described this combination as a uh, blue perfect because he so or he thinks that this combination uh, gives more perfectness so he translated in english or put it equivalent to had or had been So just out of interest, I looked into uh, Marimina's uh, grammar reference book, which is based on Alexis Malone and uh, Shane, 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 I think. And he, he, they put this tense, which is ne, I, ne, ak, ne, are, ne, af, etc. This combination of the two pasts, uh, not surprisingly, that they called it Mahdi, them not, like uh, 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 past, perfect, imperfect, in the same time. So here again, uh, they gave in the reference book, uh, this verse, uh, Kerellus can read it for us, Uh, yeah, ne a choice gift ni vaki p. Nanes, nanes emes. Recht is uh, the uh, incomplete form of roch. Roch is like a, a storm or a rampage or uh, uh, damaging or uh, making cities. Uh, Uh, you know, in, 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 in a uh, bad state. And uh, a, a choice recht a is the pre-subject for the simple past tense. Remember, up in choice is, for instance, af, up in choice Ernest Stephen. So, a A choice rocht en or just recht nivaki in the cities uh, translated in Arabic asqat or uh, as we said in English to storm or uh, rampage uh, the cities uh, or destroy the cities if you wish and here we use nepa uh, nepa <laughs> like the French ne pe for the imperfect past while a choice recht is in the uh, uh, simple past so again ne pa for the imperfect and a choice recht or recht uh, this is in the uh, simple uh, past or first perfect 
past. So again, the combinations here of combining things, and as I said, the reference book, and there are so many terminologies, and you know, it's making things difficult, but that's the way it came, and we try to understand as much as we can. So all this is a combination of ne, pe, of the imperfect past, and the simple i, ag, are, af, of the simple, or called also first perfect past. Uh, so, ne, ne, ne as such, we call it a, a past auxiliary verb, fa'al musa'id, yadol ala al-madi, telling us about the past, and it comes as mentioned in as was and where. Maybe I didn't write where last time, but it comes for, for was and where, uh, comparable to the PTNA, uh, which is like verb to be for the present. You remember the anok P, it's me, I, end uh, uh, of P, anone, so we have got PTNA for the present tense, and we have got ne, for the past, usually it has got pay with it. Any any question up to here? So we'll see how ne, uh, ne usually ne and pay used as was and were, and uh, they go along like uh, nare uh, the. Uh, uh, imperfect uh, continuous past. If we move a bit, uh, we take some e examples. Uh, Rami, Enehmut, Enehmut, can you please? Enehmut, Osh, to read Osh, Entai, Lexis, our gomla, our verse. Rami? Are you there? Right. Are you at Sotim Eroy An, Mr. Man Emkin, Tasone Demiana? Can you read? Oh, I, I didn't say, say it because, uh, you know, I, I, I dropped it for the time being. It's just example of the use of Nare. Okay. Nare mm -hmm. if, of the past continuous, our continuous past, our imperfect past. Uh, uh, just leave it because I, I, uh, let's go to these examples. The one in yellow. Uh, it arshi ne ipsaji be. Nice. Say it arshi in the beginning. If you want it arshi, arshi if you can. it arshi fil bidai in the beginning. Arshi, as you know, it, it comes like arshi erev, wa arshi diakun, wa arshi nafsa al bidai, the beginning. Ne ipsaji be. So here, we notice that ne, pe, are used to tell us that this is was. This is the an auxiliary verb in uh, simple settings. Ne, pe, epsaji. So there is no verb. This is non-verbal sentence. And if, if we went back and looked at the previous examples where there was a combination of ne and pa around a verb, making it a verbal sentence. Ay, ay growing. Here, in this last example, we call it non-verbal. There is no verb. It's just uh, nominal 
based on on nouns. Then uh, arti in the beginning. Okay, ne epsajipi. There simply there was uh, the word ep uh, taking the definite article ep or p is the same. Ne epsajipi. There was the word. Obviously, we can say there was a word. It will be ne osaji pe. So it can be both ways with uh, uh, a, a noun with a definite article or a noun with indefinite article. So ne epsaji pe, there was the word. We can change it to ne osaji pe, there was a word. Then it comes next is you can complete carry on uh, Sony. Oh, be sorry, Nasky. Thank you, and Here we are getting uh, the imperfect past, or we call it the continuous past, past uh, going on, imperfect. We don't know what happens after, but Pisazi Nafki, it could stop at that, or you can put after Nafki P. All the imperfect tenses, they tend to have uh, extra, uh, sorry, what I said, P at the end of it, so it could be Pisazi Nafki P, or you can drop the P, uh, so we do not repeat P from the previous uh, phrase. Ne epsaji P, or pisaji enough ki P if you want. But it didn't come, uh, it hasn't been added. Enough ki it, uh, for the word was uh, present or uh, Thirteen is noti present, uh, or uh, I'm translating it literally. Thirteen is noti at uh, God or at the God in Coptic, and the word was with God. Uh, that's the translation in English. Uh, عند Allah means thirteen is noti. يعني لما تقول خطاط عندي أو خطاط عندك خطين فنوتي عند الله or with God but we didn't use with in Coptic we use خطين which is more to the Arabic عند so these are examples of how the the past uh, tense, whether uh, imperfect or perfect, uh, work. Uh, but here again, we concentrating on uh, ne p to tell us that uh, in in uh, non-verbal sentences, the gomal khir the gomal uh, in the beginning, there was the word. There is no verb here, so it's non-verbal, and maybe uh, uh, equals was or with. The uh, next uh, example, Marcus can read it for us, please. Wo ne unotipe pisaji, and. And God was the word. Okay. And uh, you remember, we stopped at this, I think, uh, last time I was with you. Yeah. yeah. When we, we said, unuti, it didn't come, pinuti, in most of the uh, Bible, uh, uh, Bibles, uh, ne unuti pe, would have expected ne, F nuti or P nuti P. Yeah, yeah. It became O and we try we try to 
uh, comprehend what, 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 why it came like that. Where one of the brothers, I forgot his name, that he said, uh, uh, who anyway is from Hawaii, and Hawaii is one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Trying to 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 bridge, you know, to say, uh, actually, uh, I had another explanation, but I thought to look into Habib Gerges translation of the uh, uh, New Testament, the the four Gospels, to see how he got it, how he translated it. And he, obviously from Coptic to Arabic. So according to his translation, instead of saying wa ilah kana kalima, he said ilahan kana kalima. And unless you know Arabic, you know, there is a difference between ilah and ilahan. He just right to confirm uh, the, the word. And even even the, the Coptic itself, he didn't use uh, he used a different verb, uh, sorry, a different tense, and he, he say he put it like uh, where the word is it? I mentioned uh, onuti. No, I, I think yeah, yeah. He, he just put it ilah and a kind of stress on being a god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's very interesting. It see that you know when you get from one language to the other, it can be very helpful. It is well known many uh, things uh, in Greek, the original Greek uh, New Testament. Uh, you find that it's not clear the meaning in the Greek, so they look into Coptic or Armenian or uh, other yeah. languages to try to understand. So. In a way, it can be helpful. On the other hand, it can be confusing, you know, trying to, to, to put this and uh, people interpret it or understand it in whatever way they want. That, that's the speciality and it's on what we are just touching on it and just seeing how things are not always straightforward. We'll thank have you examples. For, Sorry. Th thank Go you on. for... for Th thank you, Yanni, for, for looking into that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's uh, between Ilah and Ilah, and <laughs> that was a bit, uh, it was very clever, Yanni, but, uh, uh, you know, unless you are, you know, Arabic very well, then it's difficult to that. Right, and now uh, we've got more examples. Uh, if Nib Metha, please, if you can read this for me. Thank you very much. And she pay what I'm sure. is the life. What about this life? The life was the light of the of man in Arabic in, in Coptic it is the man okay so you can see simple here ne pe used as a simple was the life literally you know the way it translated in Coptic the life was the light of the man of men obviously in English uh, in, in, in Arabic, Al Nas, that, that's another here. But here, you, you, you simple, ne if oini, if you forget about the en romi, ne if oini pe. So here, there is no, there is, there is only the auxiliary verb. We don't have, uh, we, we don't have a, a proper verb in the sentence. It's a nominal sentence. You can add whatever, Neuroni or whatever, but they was the, the light. The life was the light 
of men. So we have got again me and P. So far, so good. And another example, I don't know. Tasuni Salu am good at this key. Type anybody I didn't uh, ask to read. Yet. Radvert. Tisach Vert. And and oh 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 katakuji kush. In si. Berra ha berra. Shwe shwe. Ne u on u mish en kakset pe. In si pe ho te masu. Okay. Kakset is the lepers. Ne u on u mish u on has got more than one meaning. U on, but here. Uh, it it translates like there. You normally it comes like there is or there. Uh, there are, but here because we are talking about the past, then it has got ne before. So yani, for example, if you say who uh, on esgum, it is possible. If you on esgum, it is possible. But if you put ne before, it becomes it was possible. So here, starting with ne, and ending at the end, extreme end p, for ne on umish there was omission who in kapse tilama delepers. For again here, there is no verb here. It's non-verbal sentence you can call it nominal sentence and it has got the uh, auxiliary past verb it's a not a proper uh, verb neon so 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 pay and pick comes in that sense right uh, so so the idea i think is, is a bit clear now and we have got three other examples that really uh, need some concentration and understanding i don't know whether we, we can clarify it in what way but uh, uh marcus please let's read this sentence again all from the bible Ne it for row is is this the sentence? Yeah, row yes. Ne ne it if row te wo nav it it mo im mo u he. Okay, and she pe mo te masu. Right uh, here, we, you notice let's divide the, the sentence in two the verse one of them is it was in coptic the winter obviously in english it was winter it was the winter right so at a row the winter uh, ne was t we didn't get the here mm. you notice what i mean we agreed mm -hmm. always ne and then p at the end, even for the imperfect, ordinary imperfect verb, uh, any verb in, 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 in an imperfect tense gets p as an additional word with without any particular meaning. But here, uh, at the throw, it's a feminine word. And it took T, not P, so just we'll, we'll come to this later. And then the second part, you can uh, tell us about it. Uh, um, Marcus, yeah? Uh, and, oh, and, no, it's more. 
M-O-B. M-O-B. Yeah. Uh, war- warming? Yeah, and no. to dig it to heat as well, but here it come, came that when the disciples were sitting and and uh, and, and warming themselves in uh, mm. uh, when the Jesus was arrested, uh, now in in in, in the uh, imperfect past, as you know, like mm. where literally where war. Yeah, yeah the, the post translated also in the English where warming which is in perfect past. Uh, and then this is like uh, uh, what we call the reflexive verb, the warming themselves. Uh, M, 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 uh, is it good, refers to me, to you, to them. So M, O, them. So they were warming themselves. Okay, can we start to own, warming themselves? And uh, the P belongs to this nav at Belongs to it. It is the imperfect past. We are not using here ne P. It is, this is a verbal sentence. Mm. Or part of, or a phrase, part of the sentence. Nav at Mo. P. So th- th- no problem here. The, the the problem is in the first uh, part where it was winter and we used T. We didn't add P on it. And wonder why we'll, we'll look into it in a bit. But we try the uh, next uh, sentence. Um, if need met had in case of in case of yani again Tani me han o we o we gar me and sipe uh, let's forget about the gar this is a Greek uh, conjunction uh, sometimes you don't have to translate it so it can be and, can be many meanings, but we we'll leave this. But we have got here a sentence without a verb. It is uh, it, noun-based, uh, or we can call it nominal. There is no verb here. What is, what is there that we are using the auxiliary uh, was or were ne han oi oi lomal fisher or fishermen there were fishers okay right didn't say what they were doing there were fishers and ne the first ne is for the past We expected at the end, ne, the end you can put p. Here again is not p. Here is ne, like the t for the feminine word, and ne for the plural. Would expected at least to say ne, anu ohi gar ne, p. But this cannot. You, you have to drop the p in such sentence. It's complicated and sometimes doesn't make sense, but we try to understand it as much as possible. And uh, that's why <laughs> we are dealing with, uh, with an advanced course to make life uh, difficult. Right, the, the next uh, sentence, Tasone uh, Demiana, I'm, I'm very sorry if there's somebody there and I, I haven't got the name. Right. Let's try it as on it, Emiana. Me, Han, is me, the, M, B, is not me, M, B, M, so, M, is not. M, C, P, M, O, T, M, S, O. Oh, but it's called the name of the name of the name. The law, 
كان بيتكلم على القديسة أليصابات وزكريا الكاهن كان كلهم مبارين من الله القديسة أليصابات say you are right we're talking about Elizabeth and uh, Zacharias ني هان اسمي ني again for the past yeah كانوا هان اسمي رايت يس أبرار هان اسمي أبرار ام 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 بي اسناف اسناف ينو اس تو ام بي اسناف مين ذا تو مين ذا تو اوف ذم ينو ديد or both ام ام بي اسناف or it can be ام بي اسناف depends uh, uh, you use P or F the two M M P S N V or M P S I'm used to M P S N V so that, but it's the same M P S N V the two of them yani uh, nay again here for the third uh, time we get first nay for the past and the last nay is about them. Uh, equal the p t n and we don't put the the p uh, in addition to n now how to understand this let's look at a simple uh, masalan nth of i hope it's right in coptic yeah good nth of <laughs> sorry and so for example uh, oh Romy B he is a man and so for Romy B Anthos Sherry or Sherry what? T. Ebna. Ebna or a girl, yes. Anthos or Sherry T. T. And can't for verb to be. And if there are more than one man, Anthos or No, I do it as it is, okay. And so, oh, on, Romy, for example, man, ne. So here we have got the auxiliary P, is, T, is, but for female uh, uh, or feminine nouns, ne, uh, are, for the plural, they are, Men. Obviously, P and T and N came, came at the end. This is not the issue. Here, this is simple. You understand it. Now, I want to say he was a man. He was a man. He Yes, that's, that's good. You can start with ne, but the way you read it is the uh, more appealing. Yubane nth of etc. Ne nth of Uromi P. Right. And for the girl, it will be yeah, ne enthos or enthos ne, as you like. Ne enthos. The answer is what? O. Sherry. I'm separating the words for is. And here we use T. The answer is O. Sherry. P. But usually with N we get P. But they do not, they do not go along very well. 
You know, if we put anthos or charity, we don't use the pay of the past. It's dropped off. And the same applies for the plural. No, normally you can say ne. And to so, Ne and so Sahan Romi Ne. So still the same thing here. We are talking about the, the you know you, we are using a, a simple auxiliary past uh, 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 word layane where ne and so han romi. Ne, ne, spelling that they are or they were uh, men, but with ne for for uh, to, to be for the plural, they do not put pe as well. So the impression here that uh, if like in the last two sentences, if I go to three e. Ne han uohi does matter about the word what ne han uohi ne because they are telling about their nat na nature they were fishermen and supposed to put pay but pay is dropped if you are using uh, pay t and ne then you, we don't put the pay of the uh, past, uh, imperfect past. Have, have, have I got, <laughs> uh, you know, understand what, uh, uh, why P is not coming in these cases. So here I, I put it here, no, the past auxiliary verb uh, was for the feminine uh, word winter, it took already T, but is not followed by P. We drop it uh, from the uh, equation there. And the same for the plural for where we use ne, and the P of the imperfect past has been ignored or dropped. Uh, I hope I got a, a bit of sense for something that didn't seem <laughs> making sense. And, and uh, maybe somebody uh, uh, deep in grammar uh, can tell me more about this, but uh, I, I give you the examples and uh, you look into it. So, uh, right, any, any comments or anybody that has got uh, a better explanation. Right, if not, still I've got a bit of time. Uh, apart from lesson three, uh, one of them is straightforward, but again, it shows the uh, I like Samah Yunan that he, he, he puts confusing <laughs> or, or a bit of confusion in the, in the grammar. One of them, but it's not that bad. Uh, when you use the I, Ak, Ari, Af, As, An, Aritin, etc., which are the, uh, the subject pronouns, the Ma'er Fa'il, Fa'il Madi, I, Ak, Ari. We use it uh, to to tell about the present. And it's very very famous uh, saying of our Lord when looking for Adam and asking him, "Where are you? Where are you, Adam?" Using a thun Adam thun uh, where, and it took a for the past. You could say, why didn't you say uh, Ekthon? It came like that, Akthon, use the past. And again, for if it is a lady, Arethon, 
of the simple past. Where are you, my sister? I retain soon, Nasiri, where are you, my, my uh, sons? And even with verb directly, like, Neyu to be coming. Are Neyu? Everton, Everton, where from? Men Aina, Everton. Then I ask you all like, Everton, P and so. And one of this, where are you from? Everton, P and so. If you are talking to a lady, Everton, P and so. And so on. Asking you, 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 you. Here it's not you came from. <laughs> it's 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 as if it is present. You know where from you come, or where you know. Uh, one verse came here like, and it's, it's all you know picking up from here and there. Aknav e by Stilos. Do you see? It's, it's not. Did you see? If I wanted to say, uh, I can see Marcus looking at me uh, from the screen. So if I want to say, uh, uh, did you see this pillar? What would you say? Right. L l let's go from the beginning so nobody gets confused. Here we have got Aknav. A by stillness, an arc of the past is used for present. Do you see? Right. If I want to say in Coptic, did you see this pillar? Ni aknav. We don't need ni aknav. We need. Simply use the, yeah, go on. Ek aknav. Say it again. Ek aknav. <laughs> no, just simply na aknav. Na, na, na aknav. Yeah, na na aknav. Yeah, it would be easier to say it na aknav, yeah, na uh, rather than I didn't come across ni aknav. Uh, or, or could be ni aknav, yeah. Vert, what would you say? <laughs> Have you seen? Did you see the the pillar? Anoknainagos <laughs> ni aknav. Ni, ni, me, ni. me for a uh, question. Me. Okay. Nana er shemshi ak. So for past. So so me can can sort it out by adding the question word. Yeah. Okay. Me ak. That's way to to get to go around it. Okay, but again, the idea is just to give you the, the just a hint of using a past while we mean present. Because the third section, this is the really, this is the really confusing part, which I might leave it for next time, but just to, to see, because we have got what we call it second present tense present something happening you know i speak that's one of them the third one uh, i am speaking so are talking this is easy present present continuous i'm eating i'm sleeping it's okay, okay. i sleep i i i talk i uh, understand again that's easy but there is what they call it second present uh, tense. And it, it is written in, in, in the references uh, how confusing this can be. So if I, uh, uh, 
putting them in question is a bit uh, confusing. This is more confusing because what we call it second present tense, it describes things happening or going on present using the past uh, uh, pronouns, the simple past pronouns I, Ak, Are, uh, using them. And I remember one of the friends and passed away a long time ago and uh, was a teacher, good teacher in Coptic, and just was was confused at words. Well. How how comes it came like this? So I'll just just uh, uh, conclude. I, I might have to take just five minutes more. Uh, you, you know the song in the church, B I. The oik and the pond. The oik and the pond. You know, I think most of you know it. Yeah. Here, here it, it came, uh, the, the, the bread of from heaven came uh, to us. Or And then it, there is a verse that Jesus, afti non empev soma, he gave us his body, Pef Soma, name and Pef Esnof, his blood, Etayut. Okay, so Aftinam, he gave us his body and his blood, or not blood, what happened then? On, on, so any. Now, if you look at on, on, on his verb, Taban, to live, and on in its own, we live in the past, simple past, or first perfect past. And on, we lived. So in it, when, when he gave us the body, we lived in the past, or we live. So in it forever. It's, it's something, uh, at least if not future, it is something going on from now onwards. So on, on here is translated rightly so in English, we live, naish, nahi. Mish hyena already, or ترجمة أعطانا جسده نحيا إلى الأبد وما هيش حيينا إلى الأبد We'll come to this later but uh, uh, to, to show you that such thing exists which it does exist the, this what you call it second present tense there is here a simple verse which says penuti uh, J, our God, of Khen it fe. Khen in it fe heaven. So it's obvious that our Lord is in the heaven, or heaven in, uh, in uh, the heaven in Coptic. Of Khen, or of Khen. Our Father, He is in heaven. It's not He was in heaven. So here we are using off of the past to tell us the present. It's very complicated and very confusing. If in uh, Gaia coming off him. So this is the problem of the second present tense that simulates or taking the articles of the past to use for the present. Dr. Nabir, can I ask uh, on an um, um, an on? Uh, normally an on a past, yeah? Normally for another context, yeah? Yes, in other contexts, yes, it is in the past. That's very important to know what you are talking because there are verses in the Bible we have got the same dilemma. What can normally use as the past 
is expressing the present, what we call it the third present tense. Uh, I'm not going to analyze, but here I've got uh, another example of the uh, light that shines, shines in the darkness. Shine in the darkness, using the past tense for shine, instead of, uh, uh, it will be translated shown. But it actually, the light that uh, uh, shown, uh, uh, comes, looks like shown, but in fact it means shines. Even in, in Arabic, we say, one nur yudi fuzulma, not adaa. Zulma. Although Habib Gerges translated Ada'a, so, so here again there is a lot of difficulties in understanding uh, which sense you are speaking of. And uh, the, the last, uh, so you can have time to, to read this again, uh, when the, the, uh, the daughter of Jairus, of Jarius, uh, was was dead and our Lord said she is asleep. So it came as enkut. By by now what it meant to be that she is sleeping. So even again uh, that's why on Abid Gerges used a different used the present continuous is sleeping. But here the as uh, came in, in the old uh, version in the English, she is not dead but sleepeth, which is, uh, is an old archaic way, sleepeth uh, simply a simple present indicating a state of uh, being asleep. So <laughs> I'm very sorry to conclude with this, but it just, just uh, study these examples, the three ex examples, and see whether uh, it is it is uh, fact that there is a th second present tense, if you look, uh, read it in any book, and you understand from these examples the interpretation or the context of the, uh, the verb that you are using uh, appears being in the past, but it expresses the second present tense. Tishi pehmot en tuten emasho, titi mati je aisho penematen, by see you terf. Oh, ti o wash e esto, ti o wash e etso en mutin, zayani, lokum bye bye. Oh, uh, Mari if notice you shop in a mutin with uh, good time or uh, see you in a nice see you muzakri but see you in a nice what uh, Hassan uh, name uh, person a word or yeah they saw so a so have a good good uh, good a uh, I wrote it somewhere okay as I said that was just about three now how do you say have a good holiday? holiday that we know of. you can use holiday. Or break. 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 Diamond, you have to think in different ways. If Mari picks say you, so be Unesti pay myself. Ref Anuni, Anuni, Anni, Marek Anuni, it matta. Marek, Marek Anuni can. بيسيو ات كي ات ات كي اون نيمان اللي انت ما انتش معانا يعني اي طريقه ثانيه هي مشكله الواحد از ثينكينج ان عربي اور انجلش اباوت سمثينج ام تراينج تو 
You translate it literally. Yes. Uh, in English, uh, holiday is holy day. Aslaha, yani. So, yeah, yes. Our holy man, the man of God, the Siani. Yeah, of course. I'll start them. You know, what I mean is, yani, the words get uh, evolved. The language yes. evolves. Yeah. Yeah, can can otagro kaba. Can if language uh, of korf batalit or as korf or as o as korf. I mean batalit is a gen show and romp. I mean, in half a century, half a century, ma pto stardam shi. Kaban. I mean, I mean, I mean, I shop. I mean, as in kada even shot inu. I mean, for example. فاميلي اوف اثني بسنتي وغيرهم منهم والد باسيل وغيره زي زي وين دي سبيك اباوت ذا سيمبل باست سام تايم ساي اف موشي اه ما بيستخدمش ام بيس موشي او ام بيس موشي بيكوز جاست ايفري ثينج ايلس از اون سو واي دونت يوز ات وذ ذا سيمبل باست ففي اللغه ذا تنساجي You you break the uh, the the rules. You are not really. Uh, you know, you will never use the second present uh, past. <laughs> you are just simply using the past present and you know the the straightforward things. Um, doctor, okay. Uh, doctor, yeah. when we talk about. Ah, uh, Mister. When we talk about second present tense, um, my understanding was that this tense we use it. either for a statement of fact or for the interrogative se- uh, sentences for questions that's the main use for okay uh, when we use this sentence oh, we, uh, yeah for the for for the questioning yes i agree with you uh, yeah the greatest extent is not confusing but when you use it uh, you try to interpret is it for statement And then analyze some of the sentence, and you'll find it's always not, you know, it's it's a, a trial to try. Sometimes there are clear facts, you know, when you're talking about the past continuous or present continuous. He is speaking, he is sleeping. My fish in a interpretation, but when you get something complicated and really yeah. difficult, then you try to make sense by giving. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and like trying to use M to F, F, not P, and uh, when to use uh, F and so F. My question <laughs> was actually regarding point number two, the one before this, when we used the uh, Axo on Adam, how this is not second present tense. You know, if you, if you just scroll up uh, just for the previous point. No, it, it it is it is related to it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I have no problem about this. What does it be yeah. to do with the Bible? I mean, to to sort of um, the old Bible language to to stress the to stress the the meaning, like al on that we we live by it, you know, and we live forever, you know. things are that you know, I don't know right. so I go to I go to my friend the Bible. Oh. yeah and, you know when when we said on on I, I don't think you know you can call this a statement okay mm-hmm. but but most of the, <laughs> most of what we were talking about are, are statements I think yeah a bit like when we say sometimes in the you know when they say خلصنا ونخلص وسنخلص يعني past present and future in yeah. one in one uh, in one meaning could be could be yeah. انا بجتهد يعني ما اعرفش no. انا I, I lot of اجتهاد وساعات it can make sense ساعات it's difficult really to Uh, to, to interpret mm. right any any other comments استاذ ماجد توك واصل ولا كنت معانا من بدري من بدري معاكم من بدري يعني ام 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 بي ناف 
يروق وصور مثلا نسالت ولا تكلمنا ولا تقنا كنت موجود سوري معلش اوكي انا تهيألي ما اوكي في حد تاني دخل ما اتكلمناش معاه مع... ورومي ده في اخوان هو ام بي ساج ان ماف تصوني فيرت تقوش جوسن اهلي ما يقوش انت جوس نارك جيزي ما تشيشو ايرو كما شو انا انا كون بتبع حتى يعني زي بدل ما كلمة ميسينج استخدمت تشي شي او يعني يستاق او هنستاق في not 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 your present during during your absence <laughs> now I'm getting mixed up with the English as well <laughs> okay right okay oh guy oh oh mari if not is you can omitin oh oh ari pa mevi in minis in nitin is it if you can make it up good luck the word luck is lacking maybe worth ten august no اوكي <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, bye. Okay. Oh, bye. Okay. 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 Ok